it. Eric, I am determined to enjoy myself tonight now. I know you don't approve of me inviting everyone, but for goodness sake, will you please cheer up? Stella, some of the people coming here tonight are barely house trained. <laughs> well, if you've got any strong glue, I would advise you to stick down any valuables right now. <laughs> you are such a snob! Tonight could have been a wonderful opportunity for you to make contact with the local movers and shakers. <laughs> The boozers and wasters. I'd like to introduce myself to the village. Your decision. <laughs> Stella, piece from all of us. Oh, thanks. Oh, you shouldn't have. Well, with free booze and to totty or not, I think it's the very least we could do. <laughs> Don't get daft with a drink. Oh, Eric. Well, go on, enjoy yourselves. <laughs> I'm going to go and stick these in some more, shall Fine. I? <laughs> What's wrong with you? You don't want to know, Eric. You really don't want to know. Do you know, you two always look so happy together. <laughs> Thanks very much. Just like me in my cabin. Could he not make it tonight, then? Oh, he's working away. Shame, really. Gavin loves a party. Oh, he's always the life and soul, you know, telling jokes and hilarious stories. <laughs> oh, there's a really funny one he tells about Tony Blair and a flamingo. Go on, then. I'm all ears. <laughs> oh, I can never remember jokes. But the way Gavin tells it, oh, it's so funny. <laughs> then there's one about a travelling salesman in China. Sarah, Jack. Hope you're not going to try and bribe me again. How long are you going to keep this up for, Jack? Well, I fancy a dance. <laughs> Lynn, do you really want to see me make a fool of myself in front of everyone I know? Yeah. I'm begging you, send me any other test you want. No. Right, let's get this over with then. You're joking? The marquee's got to be a lot fuller than this. We don't want anyone to miss out on your full Monty. Well, you can say that again. Mind you, Stella's put on a good spread, hasn't she? Yeah, she certainly wants to make her mark with the village. I was just thinking if Tara's father hadn't died, it could have been you hosting this party. Oh, it's not exactly my style, Cathy. Any regrets about finishing it? No, no, there's not a lot I could have offered her in the long term. And there'd have always been another Lord Michael coming along, somebody with money and status. What have I got? Plenty. We've neither of us been that lucky in love, eh? Well, it's better to have loved and lost. Up some more jacks if I did Oh, thanks, Roy. You're great. You've been taking lessons on the sly, Roy. What are you on about? Well, I've seen you dance before. Like a turkey. <laughs> hey, come on, sis, I'll have this dance. Roy asked first. <sighs> come on, Scott. Let's you and me hit the floor. Yeah, okay. Oh, don't sound so enthusiastic. Here, but can you see any angels? Uh, what are you on about, man? All the booze we can drink in an unguarded house full of valuables. We must be in heaven. Dad, we're not nicking out. Butch, opportunity is slapping us around the face. Butch, isn't it? And you must be Mr. Dingle. Jack. <laughs> no, Mrs. Dingle. Oh, uh, Babby's got an ear infection. It needed its mother. Why don't I knock her up her doggy bag? 
like, you know, selection of food, bottle of wine, and then maybe one of you could pop it on to her. Oh, that's, uh, that's really thoughtful of you. At least I'd love that, thanks. Maybe you could slip in a few cans of beer, too, eh? Whatever, cos I don't want to see anyone missing out. She's a nice, isn't she, Dad? Right. So now Gavin goes swimming to keep fit. He had to give up the rugby cos of his knees. Um, can I get another glass of wine? I'll make this last. I've had my quota, thank you. Very sensible. Not worth risking your licence. <laughs> oh, I'm not driving, no. I allow myself three glasses of wine at social occasions. But only German, because it tends to have a lower alcohol content. Oh, dear. Do you get a bit daft when you've had a couple? No. Actually, I've got quite a high tolerance for alcohol. But as I'm sure you know, the government limit for ladies is 21 units a week. Being in the licence trade, one has to be disciplined. So, what do you think of Stella? Very nice. The weird thing is, she reminds me of someone. Excuse me, I must just go to the ladies, could you? <laughs> My goodness, for that I was losing the will to live. Put her glass down and we'll escape to the market. Oh, we can't, we can't. Do you want to find out what Gavin has for breakfast? <laughs> Maybe we can. <laughs> Remix to this one, mate, and it's brilliant. Yeah, right. You alright? I'm feeling a bit faint. I think I'll just go for a lie down. Well, if there's is that what I can get for you. Thanks, Robert. But I just go to run. Back in a bit. Hey, sorry, I've just got to go talk to Roy. Um, Kelly, alright? She ain't feeling that hot. She's gone for a lie down. Right. <laughs> A word to the wise. The Dingles are currently casing your house to see what's worth nicking. Oh, Eric, don't be so ridiculous. Stella, you don't know these people. It's all very well and good opening your house to everyone, but some of them are not to be trusted. The Dingles head the list. It might be a bit rough and ready, but Zach and Butch, they seem really nice lads. Oh. You've got a dreadfully suspicious mind, Eric. I'm a realist. You're a wet blanket. And I'm not going to let you bring me down anymore. If you can't be cheerful, go on. What's the matter, Eric? Your plan not working? What are you talking about? Your sad attempt to become her Svengali. Unfortunately, Stella seems to have a mind of her own. I'm merely her advisor, and for your information, she sets a lot of store by what I say. No, don't kid yourself. Stella might be a bit naive, but she's not that thick. There's no way she'll let you pull the strings around here. <laughs> really? Well, we'll see about that. You want to watch Pollard, you know? He's as slippery as a box of frogs. Oh, he's been very helpful. He's a crook. Watch oh. yourself. Why? What makes you say that? Aha, uh -huh. well, there's a few stories I can tell you. Excuse me a minute. You OK? Unlike you, to show so much concern. Look, I realise this house doesn't exactly hold the happiest memories for you. What with losing the baby here and everything. Yeah, all right. You look a bit pale. I'm just going to have a lie down. There isn't anything else the matter, is there? Why should there be? I don't know. You've just been, well, really quiet for you. We'll make the most of it, Viv, because it won't last. I think when you come so close to dying, it makes you sort out your priorities. Yeah, I can imagine. You know, the thing it taught me more than anything, though, is to grab happiness whenever it comes along. Really live for the moment. Couldn't agree more. And if something or someone makes you feel good, then jump in with both feet. You may never get another chance. Yeah, I know what you mean. You and I have certainly been through a lot together, Biff. Huh. I remember you helped me so much after Dave died. Face four. Do you want to go back to the party? 
No, not just yet. What do you want? You. I'm out of here. Give me the key, Scott. You want to stay? Get off me. But you didn't. You're too scared of your own feelings. You really think you're something? You kept looking at me in the marquee. All the time. I know what you want. But Kelly, it's what we both want. Scott, you're my brother. Stepbrother. We're not even blood related. We've lived as brother and sister all our flamey lives. Kelly, I am crazy about you. I don't. I told you before, it's too dangerous. You don't have to worry about people finding out because no one else needs to know. They won't. Because nothing's going to happen. <sighs> what about that look you gave me? I know how you feel. You want me? No! No! This can't go on, Scott. It's driving me insane. One of us is gonna have to move away from here. No. Look, I've got a better solution. Why don't we, just for once, stop fighting it? Slow down. I'm not having you pie-eyed. Dame Stella might be going to make me redundant. So meanwhile, I'm gonna get as much out of her as I can. Oh, aye. That'll do your job. Prospects no end of good, getting daylight at her housewarming. <laughs> that pint is your last. Becky, you know it's against my religion to turn down free ale. Oh. It's driving me mad. You really remind me of someone, I just can't think who. Oh, I've just got a common face. Don't denigrate yourself. Rest assured, I will remember. Yeah, I do fancy you and... Yeah, I thought of nothing else but you and me sleeping together. But Scott, I'm begging you. We mustn't give in to this. It can't happen. It, it wouldn't be right. We've just got to get it out of our systems. Once our curiosity is satisfied, then that'll be the end of it. It'd be like incest. Did that feel like incest? on the dance floor. Steady on, Marlon. I don't want to be carrying you. Don't worry about me. What's up with you tonight? You'll find out soon enough. Well, if you want to be the man of mystery, it's up to you. Look, Kelly's been gone a long time, so I'm going to see if she's all right. I've lined up a couple of tracks, so if I'm not back, I'll just slap one on you. Soon, Marlon. Soon. Are you are right? <laughs> uh, I've been sick. I think it's something I ate. Oh, no. You don't get out of it that easy. You're stripping, Marlon, and that's that. <laughs> I like her. She's down to earth. Yeah. Won't last long around here. You're such a cynic. Pollard's right for once. She's gonna live in home farm. Gotta learn to keep the village at arm's length. Watch love, you haven't got a drink. Can I get you something? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll have an ornament. <laughs> I mean a beer. <laughs> yeah, look, I don't want anyone standing on ceremony tonight. So if you see something you fancy, just grab it. That was a close shave. <laughs> 
you know, Dad, I feel really rotten nicking stuff off her. Huh? Oh, she's loaded. <laughs> no, but Stella's also dead nice. I mean, she's been really friendly to us. I know what you mean. I certainly don't get the same buzz as nicking off the tears. What do you say we have a night off? Why not? Should we put by the stuff we've already nicked? So, let's not go completely soft, right? Huh? Much have you seen Kelly about? Yeah, I think she went upstairs. Oh, jeez. Cal, you in there? Come on, he's gone. Shh! The door's locked. Shut up, will ya? <sighs> Kelly, we're not proper brother and sister, are we? If in that's the way they'll see it round here. I don't care. Come in. Scott, we nearly got found out. Let's get dressed. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, come on, sis. Don't call me sis. It makes it sound worse. Just ten more minutes. No. I'm going back to the party. Please we put this on next, track three. What? If you play it, you'll get a big surprise. Is this some sort of wine? <laughs> yeah, but not on you. <laughs> you are joking. <laughs> no wonder he sat there bricking himself. <laughs> no, I wouldn't bet. I'll stick it on and we'll see what we <laughs> Sorry about this, folks, but could you please clear the dance floor? I have an urgent special request here from Lynn and Trisha. Show us what you've got. Baby, take off your coat. Is that your blue cow part around the back of the stables? Yeah, well, why? What's happened? Will you hurry up? All right, all right. What's the rush? We've both been gone from the party for ages. I don't want anyone putting two and two together. And why would they? Well, maybe it'll show in our faces. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, what if Viv or Donna found out? Once we leave this room, it never gets mentioned again. Ever. Agreed? If that's what you want. That's what I want. I'm here. That was awful. Thanks a lot. Um, I made you look stupid. 
I never really thought you'd go through with it. For you that set the challenge, I had to do it. Because I love you. Well, why don't you ever show it before, then? Hang on. I've just made a complete proud of myself for you. Don't get uppity. If you'd have ever shown me any affection, then we'd still be together. And tonight would never have happened. What can I say? I screwed up, you know? I got my priorities wrong. It was only after I lost you I realised how much you meant to me. It took a lot of ball to do that strip. You must have been dying out there. I've never been so scared in my life. But I did it. For you. You're a prize pill at Marlon. But I think I love you. They flock round you like bees to honey, don't they? Come on, who have you got in there? No one. Let's see your latest uh, trophy, then. Don't, Mum. Oh, Scott, it's not another married one, is it? No. You'll only embarrass her. You're a bit smashed, and I don't want this girl getting scared off. Oh, serious about this one, then, are you? Yeah, it could be. So? Anyone I know? Mum, I'll tell you about some other time. All right. But just remember, if you can't be good, be careful. <laughs> And what makes you so sure it was someone from the party? I'm going to be blunt, Stella, because I think you ought to know. Know what? Everyone's smiling to your face, but behind your back, your tongues are wagging. Saying? Half the people back there, they just don't like you. What, you mean you've really heard people talking about me? Stella, if only you'd taken my advice. Scale the party down to a select few, this would never have happened. This is not how I'd planned tonight would work out. I have your best interests at heart. I know the village and its people. Please, in future, take my advice, eh? It's free. Yeah. You were right all along. <laughs> Where have you been hiding? I wasn't hiding. Ah, oh, look for you. I couldn't find you anywhere. You all right? Yeah, I just went for a lie down. Do you feel any better? No. I think it's made it worse. <laughs> 